welcome back I decided to record like this because of lighting so we have this cast card um, first when we can get it to focus so uh, we have this cast card um, yeah we have this picture and um, we have put that over there we have this picture of him oh dear that's like severe bad with the um, old light thing but yeah we have that picture of him we have this like pictures are very bad like with like torches and flashes so we have this picture I didn't know that it was going to be this bad we have this picture of him maybe if they put them that way they might be a bit better we have this picture of him um, we have this picture I really like them um, I really like all of these pictures. Like, I wouldn't be able to decide which one was my favourite if I had to. Um, so I've got that one. Uh, like, some of them have, like, a different texture. So these are, like, matte finish ones. So, and then the rest, like, the rest are glossy. So I've got this one. I've got this one. I just, like, love all the, I love all these, like, pictures of him. Like, they're just, like, amazing. I'm just like obsessing over them. So this is another one that's like based off his cast card. There's this one. This one. You can tell which one's the matte, like, because you have these glossy ones here. And then like, um, just like trying to find this one has a matte finish, like you can tell, because it's like got a different light. It the light goes onto it differently. Uh, and then there's this picture of him. 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 Um, there's this picture of him. Um, there's this picture of him. There's this picture of him. There's this picture of him. There's this picture. There's this picture. And there's this picture of him. So that's all of my Ned Porteous pictures. Um, it's like basically a massive wad. I'll probably have to update them at some point. Hopefully, when he comes back into Emmerdale, if he comes back into Emmerdale, I will have some good pictures, slash screenshots to update my picture collection with. So, this is like technically not real. This is like um, one of my magazines. I might like just keep like pausing video, like edit through the power of editing to like. Um, so I can just like try and do that so we've got um this um like one um who who is he who is this person going to be um like honestly who is this person going to be we need to know who this person going to be um so people are thinking it's going either Jane it's going to be James but then again they might surprise us, but it's difficult to tell at the moment who it is, but, you know. Um, I know that um, that's the sort of dress sense of, like, Joe Tate. So, if it's, like, not Joe Tate, then it's probably going to be James Tate or someone. Um, I don't know. But, um... And then there's just me over here, just casually hoping that it's Joe Tate which like it probably won't be but I'm just like one of those who secretly hope that it's Joe Tate because then at least they won't have killed him off of Emmerdale. This is the page where Ned's on loving it. So um, he's on the front of this magazine um, once again there's that picture there and it says who tortures the wolf pack and why and it says Inferno but then, like, um, those three people are right near where it says that. So, that's why I'm kind of thinking it might be Joe. Because we've, we've seen him before. But, like, then it might be James. But, like, apparently Vanessa recognises him. So, it might not be James. Because would Vanessa know James? Oh, <laughs> bit of Ollie over there. Um, and a bit of Ollie over here. 
But yeah, this is where it talks about Debbie reporting Joe is missing. But the reason why I say it might be Joe that tortures the wall pack is because, like, it just, like, has them three on the front cover and it doesn't necessarily say... doesn't ne necessarily say what for on the front. And then, like, in here it just talks about how... Uh, about them. But, like... I don't know, I'm just, like, probably reading into things a bit too much. But, you know, there's always hope, like, got to be hopeful. We have this, I have this magazine, um, and, yeah, is in there. This was when there was the TV Choice um, Awards, and look at Ned over there collecting his Best Newcomer Award. And, um, it just says there, uh, Best Newcomer, um... And I forgot to show you this part. Unk of the year is Joe. Uh, it was on the Inside Soap magazine, the New Year special. And then we've got this Inside Soap magazine. Unfortunately, Ned wasn't in this. This is why I say it's also Emmerdale um, like one. So just got this magazine here um, to do with Emmerdale um, on the front cover. Um, nothing about Joe in this magazine. Because um, I used to buy these magazines a lot, I did. And I'm not even joking. I just, like, used to... I used to be so obsessed with these magazines, like... <clears throat> my voice keeps going in, like, my videos all the time. So I don't know what's wrong with my voice. Um, it just, like, keeps going mental. Um, then there's, um... What's on TV, and we've just got that at the bottom. And then there's the Inside Soap, celebrating 1,000... And then there's just like this about Kane. It says, Kane did say he'd kill Joe, but it was just a figure. It's just a round-up about what was happening in the Dales. The um, so Inside Soap Award winners. Um, and then we've got a bit of Joe in here as well. And it was his last voicemail message, and it says here they just use it as an excuse to print his face on this page again. It's actually so sad. Um, there's also a bit of the about the Emmerdale in this, and then uh, there's just this. It says Joe back to Aunt Kane, um, and it's just here a bit about is he really dead? Um interview and then it just says Kim Tate's back on this one and then there's like a bit of um, Ned in there as well um, and then there's a bit there and then there was this um, page and then we've got a bit of Ned in here as well and then we've got this one a bit of him there um, and then we've got a bit there as well and then we've got this one here and he's in the back there and then we've got this one with Joe and Noah in. I'm just going to go through, like, the magazines now. Like, just show you them. Um, got, like, just, like, got a load of um, this lot in them. Um, I don't really know if he's in this one, but I used to buy this all the time. Um, I did. Um, and we got this one. I don't know if it's like, um, I'm just like looking for the one where um, they interviewed the, um, oh, this one was um, when they'd like, um, I don't know. I'm like looking for the one where there was the Emmerdale's interview, Emmerdale cast interviews for the Inside Soap, um, but I can't find it. But I know there was like one where there was like, where they'd done interviews for it, so we've got that. Oh yeah, this is the one where about a uh, transplant and then got Joe in the background there and we've also got Joe in the background on that part as well. And then we've got this one where it says Joe orders Graham's death and there's like an old two pages on it um, and I think it said it's somewhere in the front cover. So then we've got the one with um, revealed Graham's secret path and there's just a bit about it on there. Um, we've got this TV magazine. This one here just has like, this has like um, one page where there's a bit about it. Oh yeah, so there's a bit about it here. 
um, about that was um, about the flashback episode. And then we've got this magazine. It says Joe's alive. Debbie stunned after mystery text message. Well, it turned out it wasn't true, but I have two of them magazines. This is the one where there was the interview in it, and yeah, that's here. Um. And then he's also there on the vote for Emma Dan in the Inside Soap Awards thing. I'm um, just like trying to see if he's in any other part of the magazine. No, he's not. And then we finally got this magazine here, and yep. Yeah. And then there's just a mini picture of Joe and Graham over there.